now coming back to the next slides or new topic and that is feature extraction and feature selection but before going to that what are the features that we have to understand so generally features there is a one uh, diagram also is given in which the features of the labrador or greyhound dogs are given and in terms of height as you can see the there are various graphs are shown of dogs the generally if the set of 15 we can found that or set of 25 the 150 dog may have the greyhound size or labrador size of 150 to 300 this is the height parameter of the dogs this is the feature of the dog height the greyhound and the labrador so this we can be categorized with the help of the sets so this is the dogs of heights versus uh, dogs versus heights on the plotting we can see that the labrador and greyhound now coming to the right side of the pattern where we can see that the blue eyes dogs and the brown eyes of dogs again this will be categorized in terms of bar chart the labrador having the light gray shade and the greyhound is in dark black shade so this we can see that the consist of the numbers of data sets or number of features of that particular dogs this how we can categorize with the help of the dog's height or dog's eyes so this is the feature of that dog so coming to the next that is the significant of feature extraction and feature selection in machine learning and the abbreviation of the feature extraction is fe and the feature selection is fs so the first point is that the feature capture is sense of the story lot of many features lead to higher dimensional data the feature selection or extraction plays vital role in machine learning like garbage in leads to garbage out so feature extraction or selection helps to estimate irrelevant and redundant data that enables machine learning algorithms to train faster improves accuracy of model provided high right subset is chosen it reduces overfitting it reduces complexity of model and make it easier to interrupt and the last and the next one is the curse of dimensionality is taken care of in significance of fe and fs now coming to the next slide is feature extraction versus feature selection now the word itself indicate that the feature extraction means there suppose a data set uh, there is one large data set having uh, one two thousand numbers and we want only extracted the numbers which is are from 100 to 200 so, so this is from one and one to thousand or one to thousand numbers are given and one only want one to two hundred numbers count that what you want so we'll just take a loop or take a, assign a counter it will start from hundred and end at will be at two hundred this is how it works feature extraction that means it will extract the required amount of data sets now the feature selection the feature selection what will happen it will select only data that will required in further operations so this is called feature selection if we want one two hundred data sets and among them only we required uh, what we call uh, even values so that is a feature selections so it will be selected to for extraction so the feature extraction removes redundant features and create new features from the existing ones
so basically feature extraction is a combination of data sets from probabilistic manner and the feature selection removes redundant features while the rest are kept as it is so it's very simple red goes to all colors here in feature extraction red goes to the first red circle goes to all colors and the feature selection red circle goes to only red this is feature selection versus feature extraction doing their job now next to this coming to the next slide the feature extractions removes redundant features and create new features from the existing one convert big data into relevant features though in the figure shown there is a bike bike is used for feature extraction algorithm and it will extracted feature will be tires wheel rims bonnet and bonnet the way, handles or various parts now to for feature extraction we use pca that is a principal component analysis and ICA independent component analysis third one is a linear discriminant analysis LDA this is how feature extraction can be worked out with the help of the techniques now the PCA is a different topic I will cover it into the next session how to handle the PCA but hopefully you understand the feature extraction and the feature selection techniques it is widely used in various numbers of industry to extract the large amount of data to subsequent results so where we use the feature extraction techniques there is another example that if there is a thousand number of students and we want only girl candidate separated from thousand candidate so this kind of algorithm will help you to extract the uh, numbers of the candidate whose uh, uh, our as per requirement and the selection is the same process but it will go one by one it will not going to check everything okay so this is how the feature extraction selection will be works